I have previously talked at length about my favorite Tomb Raider secrets and the joy of discovering them. But I don't associate all Tomb Raider secrets with joy. It goes without saying that secrets can be hard to find, and some of them can be really hard to find. But some of them are also really hard to obtain. Joy and difficulty aren't necessarily mutually exclusive, but I've made a list of 10 secrets that are so hard to obtain they make me cuss like a sailor. For this exact reason, they are also Tomb Raider's best kept secrets. The Tomb Raider games are not short on difficult secrets, however, so I'll first present a selection of honorable mentions that almost made the list. Palace Midas has the perhaps most well-hidden secret in the entire series. The switch to gain access to it is hidden behind the foliage of one of the trees in the garden. Why would anyone ever look there? It opens a gate that leads to a corridor with a crumpling floor tile concealed spike pit and chopping gates a la Prince of Persia. I think one would have sufficed core design. Did we really need both? Tomb Raider 2 secrets are generally not too difficult to obtain, but the Jade Dragon figurine of 40 fathoms is the exception. Lara must pull a switch to open a door that will only stay open for a few seconds. The problem is that there are lamps across the floor which she can easily get stuck on. Lara needs a perfect rhythm of running and jumping at the exact right moment to be able to reach the door in time. And as if that wasn't enough, Lara then needs to go swim with barracudas and a shark to get her hands on the figurine. It's a madhouse has a very complicated secret that works like a side quest. Essentially, Lara must interact with Sean Dark statues, including using a key on one, which must first be retrieved in a piranha pool. Which without question is the hardest part. She must then make her way through a cave full of goodies, but where a single misstep will send her plunging into a mutagen pool. This secret side quest ends at the beach, where Lara must take on a number of creepy mutants. Without further ado, here are my top 10 hardest secrets. Why does that sound so dirty? The Tomb of Set's third secret is immediately off to a bad start as it requires swinging a rope to reach it. I'm sure I'm not the only one who finds rope swinging in Tomb Raider to be the very definition of misery. As soon as Lara lands in the entrance to the secret, the chime sounds, which basically is the game telling you that what lies ahead is so difficult it won't force you to do it. This vertically circular room is one of the most intimidating areas in the series as a big scary set of rotating blades cycle through it. Lara needs to always be aware of its location while searching the room for items or she'll be minced. While there are a few safe areas, exploring this place is still very stressful because you constantly need to watch out for the blades. The funny thing is, you don't need to do all this as the secret registers right after the rope jump. But then you'd miss out on the game's earliest pair of Uzis. Tomb of Tihokan has a really annoying secret for a couple of reasons. Not only is it hard to obtain, I'll get to that shortly, but it also interrupts that epic slope slide out of the demon's mouth. Lara needs to jump off the slope at a specific point, which is difficult to pull off because the fixed camera angle makes it impossible to see when and where. You just need to know. She must then use crumbling floor tiles to traverse a pit to get to the secret at the other side of this ill-maintained room. It's similar to a secret in Colosseum, but the big difference is that you can have as many tries as you need for that one, whereas you only get one to do this one. Tomb of Samarkit has a secret that requires Lara to jump between three ropes. Just like the horrendous double rope secret in Catacombs, however, I can't blame it entirely on the secret as it's a mandatory part of the level. Except, technically, it's not. You see, depending on the outcome of the game of Senate, a different path to finish the level will unlock. The winning path is short and easy, while the losing path is long and hard. But the losing path has a bunch of secrets, while the winning path has none. So the only reason you'd ever want to lose that stupid game is so you can go get those stupid secrets. 
So, no, this is not a mandatory part of the level. Because I could just not give a crap about secrets, beat Semmerkit's ass at Senate and live happily ever after. But here I am, a slave to my secrets obsession, having to deal with three fucking uh -huh. ropes. Thankfully, they're in a straight line, so I guess it could have been worse. Lost City of Tinnus' first secret is found inside a wasp nest, because of course it is. Wasps and ropes. The classic Tomb Raider games really treated us like crap, didn't they? Lara needs to do a bunch of climbing to reach the nest, which is terrifying when wasps spawn all the time to try and knock her down. It's not advisable to exterminate the nest, however, as you need at least two wasps to reveal invisible platforms. I mean, how else could you possibly know there are invisible platforms there? The invisible platform secret in the first game at least had the decency to already have an object on it. St. Francis's Folly has a secret that requires a very specific jump to obtain. Lara must use a slope to reach the secret, but if she goes down the preceding slope facing forwards, she'll overshoot it and it will be too late. What she needs to do instead is go down the first slope backwards so she can grab and hold onto the edge as she drops off. The trick then is to pull up, let Lara fall backwards and hold the jump button while she falls so she'll backflip off the second slope the second she touches it. Otherwise you'll have to perfectly time your jump as she slides backwards on the second slope and that can be difficult. St. Francis's Folly has some really tough secrets in general, but this one takes the cake. It's a piece of cake once you figure out the trick, but the process to do so can be very frustrating. Altwitch has a difficult section where Lara must hastily descend a shaft while being chased by a big nasty drill the entire time. This is a mandatory part of the level, but there's also a well-hidden secret in this shaft. Lara needs to add even more tricky maneuvers to this already difficult platforming section to obtain it. At the point where she can just roll and jump to safety, she must instead jump to the side and fall through to the slope beneath her. She must then do a grab as she slides off the slope, then release and grab three further times before she'll finally be able to pull up and claim the secret. Oh, and did I mention, there's a big nasty drill chasing her the entire time. Yeah, Tomb of Samarkad again. Right after the horrendous triple rope jump, there's another difficult secret. Lara must first get her hands on a torch, which she must then use on two wall-mounted torches. Doing so will reveal a hidden area beneath the floor. Down there, she'll encounter a scary circular blade trap, which is sure to cost her some health unless her timing is absolutely perfect. She'll then find herself inside a room with numerous goodies, but nothing is ever as simple as it seems in these games. Picking up some of these items will trigger flesh-eating beetles to appear and make everything so much worse. Figuring out which items to pick first to make the beetles appear as late as possible is trial and error, which is never a good thing. Lara will only barely make it out of there alive and will for sure need a large medipack to fix herself up. Everybody's favorite level, Lutzgate, unsurprisingly has one of the hardest secrets ever. What makes this secret really hard is that it requires stealth and that one single misstep will make it unobtainable. If Lara is spotted by the guard in the underground dock area at any point, he'll alert a frogman who'll then dive into the water and seal off the secret. Lara therefore needs to stay out of the guard's sight and sneak behind him so she can kill the frogman as soon as he jumps into the water once the alarm goes off. Because for some reason, Lara won't target him while he's out of the water. And on top of all those finicky requirements, the player may encounter a save game bug if they save the game at any point during this section, which also renders the secret unobtainable. There is so much that can go wrong here, but it certainly is rewarding to succeed in more than one way.
The Tomb Raider series' second hardest secret tasks Lara with completing two shooting ranges, which sucks because the game's janky aiming controls makes it difficult to be as swift and precise as the challenges demand. The first one is mandatory for level progression, but it must be cleared even faster to gain access to the second one, which is reserved for the masochists who want all secrets only. As soon as Lara enters that shooting range, she'll be locked inside, poisonous gas will leak into the room and she can't exit until she's cleared all targets. So she's basically fucked. Uh -huh. This one is so much harder because targets appear in an erratic pattern and respawn. If any target crosses the line on the floor, it's game over. Once Lara succeeds, or rather, if she succeeds, she can go to the armory and claim the golden rose, but you gotta wonder if all that trouble was worth it for a rose you can't even smell. I consider Lost City of Tinos to be the hardest Tomb Raider level of all time, so it's very fitting that this spirit-breaking level also has the series' hardest secret. Numerous Tomb Raider secrets have been hidden behind a timed door, but this secret is hidden behind the ultimate timed door. From the switch that opens it to the actual door, Lara needs to cover about half the entire level in less than two minutes. Everything can go wrong, however, so you need to stay sharp. <coughs> Jog less and sprint more. <coughs> Climb the ladder from the left so Lara can get off quickly at the top. <coughs> Never get lost. Dodge both of the swinging fire braziers. And get safely off the bridge at the end. This is all much easier said than done, however. That's it! That's my top 10 hardest Tomb Raider secrets. Which secrets did you have the most trouble with? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.